Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the boys inside your head. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT9. I'm ID Explosive One. And we are playing Wheel of Fortune. Yes, we are, dude. It's a toss up. Do I got the quickest fingers in the South? Um, Food and drink. Blank and blank, blank. I cannot tell uh -oh. you about your finger speed, sir. What the hell is that? Salad. Something quinoa. Quinoa. It's a fucking. I'm sorry. Wow. Bean. Oh. It's a bean and quinoa salad, oh, dude. Trick. I don't know how to spell quinoa. She got it anyway. It's so funny because I just got done eating a salad, dude. Passion swears, dude. And you know I love quinoa because I love quinoa. It's delicious. <laughs> and nutritious. I haven't had it in forever, though. I used to make quinoa, my man. Did you? I used to like put it. In, you put it in like a rice cooker. Ouch. Oh, interesting. It's good oh, stuff, what? man. Is it te is its texture like rice? Its texture is something that you would not be able to get past. <laughs> it is grainy and seedy and f kind of like flaky, but not like <laughs> like seed casing legume flaky. Oh, dude, that like, just yeah. sounds so good. Uh, how do I describe this? It's like eating like a like a bowl of BBs. <laughs> <laughs> My lord, that sounds tasty. <laughs> but like a bowl of BBs. Yeah, absolutely. But like a bowl of BBs that have like a uh, like a beetle carapace. Is to it them. crunchy? They can be. If the okay. if the carapace is still on them, then yes. Okay, so the BB isn't crunchy in its own self. It's no. the carapace that's crunchy. Yes. It's the beetle shell around the soft BB. Yes, but you got to eat the whole thing. So Does you know. it take on the flavor of what you put on it? Or does it kind of always taste bland? I mean, if you like the flavor of, like, light dirt. <laughs> No, I see, mean it gets really. I mean, it's sounding more and more appealing. It, I should say it's just earthy. It has an earthy flavor. Okay. To it. I like it. This is coming see, from take somebody a, take who's a, cup a proponent. Of soil. <laughs> I'm a proponent for quinoa too. All right. What letter do you want? Uh, wow. What is this word? I don't know. Let's take the R because that's yes, definitely E R. That is not an E R, but big R okay. energy. All right. Interesting. Hard R energy, by the way. Yeah. I don't know what the hell that is. Yeah, I don't know what that is either. Yeah, but yeah, quinoa's all right, man. You should try it. You've never had quinoa? Is it like couscous? Uh, kind of. Kind of. Not it's really. A, it's a free play. Let's let's take something that we normally wouldn't take because we'll get to go again. We'll take the C. I'm not a fan of couscous. I've had that before. It's kind of, but couscous is kind of noodle-ish, isn't it? Yeah, it's like tapioca. Yeah, but it's right? more like it's closer to pasta than uh, yeah than oatmeal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you get to get noodle if you win, dude. What it's do you like want? It's like plastic BBs. You want the S or the P? Or Definitely the, the S, because both That's of those are plural. Nope. Okay, well, just I guess I'll die. Way to ruin our game. I guess I'll die and and go straight to freaking hell, huh? Is that what you want? Got it? Oh, another bankrupt for the computer. That's oh, good. sorry, Bankrupt computer. We could have won noodles, and you put S, and did we didn't get any noodles. We did not get noodles. <laughs> yeah, dude. Kind of want some ramen, like some no. real ramen from a ramen restaurant. Oh, yeah, there's some good stuff out there. Yeah, like, I'm not a big fan of, like, soft-boiled eggs, but when I had ramen, you had that soft-boiled egg in it. It was actually really damn good. Yes. Like, real ramen is delicious. Pho is pretty good, too. Yeah. Or, I'm yeah. sorry, pho. Pho is pretty good, too. Um, I mean, I'll be that guy who pronounces it wrong. God knows some elitist is already, they were already typing by the end, by the time I ended that sentence. Right. I was uh, like, foe is good. They were like, actually, it's pho. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Blank. Encrypted. It is encrypted. No, well, it is not encrypted. It is not encrypted. Yeah. All right. It could have been 100%. Right. I'll buy a vowel, I think. Like what what vowel do you want? The cash, uh, The D. E. Yes, we the have E would be the most helpful. Okay, maybe not. Yeah. Buy, buy another Fern one. Handcrafted furniture. Actually, the E was the most. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Yeah. Handcrafted. Yeah. Around the house. I feel like that's a little uh, misleading. Why? Around the house, handcrafted furniture. Like, 
I mean, you everyone's know. out here with their uncle making a effing couch. <laughs> <laughs> my grandmother made my grandfather made this rocking chair. Yeah. I had to change that because grandma is making rocking chairs. Wow, that's pretty sexist. No, I'm just saying, you know. It was They're, a different oh, time then. Yeah, it was a different time. There's no way no wife of mine would have a hammer in her hand. <laughs> a saw. My <laughs> wife ain't carrying a saw around. Put that down, Mildred. <laughs> Why are you out here trying to saw down things? And I'll smack you again. It was a different time. That's what they I did. Mean, that's that's what they how did. It went, to be honest. Mm. I know. Dude, it's a weird time. You want the tea? It's funny how we live in a society. Tea, yes, 100%. A society that what? I said, it's just funny how we live in a society. Oh, yeah, and like the things that were okay and not okay, and they change. And yeah, and wow, Jonas, like progression yeah, of right? thoughts, ideas, and the way we treat others. That's yeah, crazy dude. talk, dude. Like, yeah. Get out of here. Complacency and staying in the past no. really doesn't give you any. No, yeah. Jonas, things have to remain the same as they did when we were kids. Because that is what is important. Yeah. You know Sarcasm. What, you know what I find interesting? What's that? Is, you know, the, digiti the digitization of everything is becoming popular from whatever. But, like, eventually it's going to get to the point. Let's see. Uh, yeah, nobody's got a problem with that. Well, like, then, like, so if we digitize everything and then, like, something happens like the existence of everything we have is just gone <laughs> there's no like physical anything left nobody has a book or a movie or a whatever like your computer crashes you're like well everything i own is gone because a piece of electronic equipment failed me i mean are you talking about like oh, whose turn is about it, well we're, it's uh, we get a chance to solve it so i'm just kind of looking right, at it okay let's take a look at it real quick what could that I'll... bottom word be skyscrapers skyscrapers yes Towering, towering skyscraper. Okay, cool. We got it. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I feel you. I, I guess I get it, but. I mean, everything's going toward. Well, I mean, I guess having as, things on paper doesn't necessarily mean that it's it's safe. Well, but I guess what's what's happening now is we're going towards more of a decentralization model of things, like with like. I mean, that's what like crypto and a lot of things are trying to do: decentralize it. So it once it's up and running, as long as some of the thing it will never get taken down because it's not ran by one machine so if one machine goes down mm -hmm. there's still a million machines hosting and that's that's the premise and then it, so digitization will never go away because things will never get shut down unless the entire structure of the internet and everything gets shut down which i guess we're always at risk for like all of the sum total of human knowledge being like susceptible to deletion whether we have it on paper or whether it's on digital media digital yeah yeah that's true because like i mean yeah you could have a the library of congress could catch fire and burn up every book it's in it and it's all that happening stuff's that's this happened in the past the yeah exactly yeah i mean yeah that's very true so but yeah i think decentralization will help keep digitized things going i guess so all right let's see it's a thing oh it's a thing so it could be anything oh Honestly. good so it's the anything category oh i didn't want the d but i guess i'm taking the d BD energy, baby. Right. Let's go. Let's take the M because I like M's in my bank account. And let's take the A. <laughs> I like M's in my bank account. Oh, wow. We did a good job. <laughs> 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 wow. What the hell was this? <laughs> right? I don't even know a four letter word that we Canine with it. balls. Yeah. It's not wow. canine balls. Um, apps. Could be apps. Could be apps. Phone apps, P H O N N E. Nope. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I have. I don't think we're gonna get this. Sharpened axes. I imagine it's I N E is probably what it ends with. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, but that's bait too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Exactly. It's big time bait. Hmm. Uh, Frying. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of good letters left. Let's see here. Something apps under 10 seconds. We don't have enough time to solve it anyway. So, um, wait, wait, wait. Give it five more seconds. It might come to us. Uh, yeah, I can't fill it out in that short. iPhone app. Uh, oh, you were basically. iPhone. I said phone apps, dude. But iPhone uh, apps. And it wasn't hyphenated either. Did you notice that? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Usually they they love to throw a freaking hyphen in half the time. Yeah, right. It Chips. was phone apps though. 
Yeah, they just. Well, how would we have ever thought it was iPhone? <laughs> stupid crap. I'm glad, Anyways, I'm just glad I said it. So right, it exactly. So now you look smart, that. even though we ended up stupid. So <laughs> 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 that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe uh, for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.